Yeah, I think when you have these both teams of quality they have, it should be an intriguing game. Ismail Elfab blows the whistle and it is Paul and Timbers who kick things off. Attacking from right to left, they have a victory here last season. They've won three straight against LAFC. The header from Jimmy Chara. Paredes. Paredes again inside the area of his left foot. And what comes off the defender? The other the kick is in! Two weeks in a row, we've seen absolutely superb strikes from Portland. Capo with no chance. Oh my God. This is even better than last week because it's ricocheted. They keep the ball alive, they keep pumping it around. It fizzes up and he just, again, tries his luck. What great agility, what great awareness. It bounces up. When your luck's in, you take it. And he takes it early and it just loops in, agonising over the goalkeeper. Just watch it, here's a better angle. Perfect. <laughs> Look at the smile, that says it all. He's looking at that replay, could Chicho have gone down there? Bella tries to overhit this one, far post, head back across, and cleared. Bella on his left foot, cool. oh. what a save, and then the other head kick at the other end, and was that a foot up? I'm not going to say it, Messi because he's not, not there. I know Lexi said in 2019 he's one of the top players in the world, but I am Robin. Anyone with a left foot when they come inside, you expect it to go a little bit wide. He tries to go narrow, but again, the fullback inside the penalty area. Palacios tries to get his cross in. Rodriguez on his right foot. He'll go for a goal, big save. Super one handed stop from Ivicic. Had to move really sharply. Again, this wide area ricochets in. And Excellent angle here with the shot. Not only a good save, but the way he pushes it away from danger. Just going to palm it back into the area. Look at the distance he gets. As a player, is to be injured when you're trying to negotiate. Arango. Gets to the byline. Was he pulled back? The referee says yes. It was a quick pull from Bravo. And it's a yellow. And it's a second yellow. So this a pivotal moment in the match. The ball's gone past. You can see here, there's the arm, he's just dragged him back. It may not be a lot, but he... Apoku leaves it for Cifuentes. McGraw getting back in, Cifuentes gets his cross in. Into the penalty area, in the A, goal, and it's a couple of yards over. He just opened up and tried to guide it into that far top corner. And just into those central areas where Portland have so many bodies. Masovsky's gone central, Apoku with the cross to Hannah. So close. Ivic has got down very sharply. It's a lovely angle here. Just watch it as he just whips it in. He's not looking to pick anybody out. He's just putting it into a dangerous area. See, off the post and then back to the goalkeeper. Well, they had one with Bravo in the first half and they've had another. It's a wonderful fan base up there in the stadium where they've built on it as well. Rodriguez, Rodriguez. It's going to fall to the edge of the And that was as guilt an opportunity as we've seen in the second half. Chicho. Because Weston McKinney's already in the house injured. The international window coming up. Be a blow for the US. Rodriguez, good skill. Goes across into Leveller. Right at the death. LAFC have got the goal. And it's Mamadou Fall. A little bit of magic. Rodriguez, what you want. And it's a simple but effective finish. A little glance across. To see if he's onside. It's the first time he's got someone squared up. That's what you want Rodriguez to do. That's why you think he's a special player. He might have just gotten the point. They haven't deviated. They kept plugging away. You kept working on it. And I think the point at the end will be a fair result for both teams. And the, the whistle has gone. The managers have a little bit of a conversation. It may feel like a, a defeat after leading for so long, Warren.